In this video, we'll see how you can quickly and efficiently create drawing sets that are fast and simple to navigate. Review's robust set of tools can take care of the heavy lifting while you get back to putting your time where it's most valuable. When you open up PDFs in Review, you can easily move from one to the next by clicking on the tab of the file you wish to view, similar to using a web browser. If you'd like to view multiple drawings simultaneously, one option is to click and drag the tab of one drawing to the location you'd like to have it displayed, such as a second monitor. Review also allows you to view multiple documents with one interface by using the Split feature. This feature allows you to split your screen vertically, horizontally, or both ways. Also, if you need to look something up online, you can do so without leaving a review by launching a web tab directly from the interface. Here, I have an original drawing and a revision. By turning on the sync feature with these drawings side by side, review will match the actions of one window to the other, allowing me to look for revisions much quicker than if I had to manually zoom and pan on each drawing. While split screen and sync allow for improved side by side comparison, the process of identifying all changes can be tedious and leaves the possibility for missed items. With the Compare Documents feature, Review does that tedious work for you by searching pixel by pixel for changes and automatically placing a cloud around any it finds. The end result is a PDF change log, as well as time back in your day to tackle more important things. Review also has a feature that allows you to overlay multiple sheets on top of each other, like a digital light table. This feature is especially useful if you need to look at multiple revisions or multiple disciplines on a common sheet for coordination. As you run the process, Review will colorize each drawing to distinguish one from the other. On the output file, you'll see the common lines display in black, while the differences display in the assigned colors. As part of the process, each overlaid sheet becomes its own layer, which can be toggled on and off as needed. Compare and Overlay have the ability to save hours upon hours of work by themselves, but we like to take things a bit further. Both of these features have a batch option that allows you to compare or overlay multiple sets of sheets all at once. Perhaps now you can enjoy your lunch somewhere other than your desk. As is often the case, we may be working with a combined set of drawings. Review's Thumbnails tab is especially useful for navigating large document sets. This tab provides a preview of each sheet within a drawing set, which opens the desired sheet when selected. The previews offer helpful page labels that add some additional clarity. While you can add or modify page labels individually, the AutoMark feature allows you to relabel all of your sheets automatically based on information on your drawings. Using the Page Region option, I can select an area on my drawing that contains pertinent information, like sheet title. Because AutoMark allows for multiple regions, I can pull both the sheet title and number from the title block. Once you're ready to run AutoMark, it goes to work, relabeling all of your sheets, which not only cuts down the time to manually create the labels, but also time searching for the drawing you need to get to down the road. If you'd like to add bookmarks too, simply jump to the Bookmarks tab. Call up the AutoMark tool, and in no time, you're all set. You can even export your bookmarks to easily get a list of all sheets in your set. With two navigation enhancements already added, let's go for a third. Batch Link is a tool exclusive to Review Extreme and can be used to create drawing sets that are tremendously efficient to navigate. Similar to the way AutoMark works, Batch Link can use text on your drawings to automatically generate hyperlinks that not only take you from sheet to sheet, but can even take you from detail callout right to the detail sheet. After a few clicks, Batch Link starts to run and within a minute or two, it has generated hundreds of links. Up until this point, we've been working with one large PDF. Depending on the situation, it may be advantageous to split that combined document into individual sheets. This can easily be done with Extract Pages. The best part about it is that all of those page labels created with AutoMark can be used to name the sheets. The hyperlinks can also be updated to relative paths, which means they'll all still work even after the sheets are split apart. As mentioned, there are different reasons for keeping a drawing set combined or split into individual sheets. With the Sets feature, you can have the best of both worlds. Sets allows you to navigate and interact with individual documents as though they were one combined set. Through tags, sets also organize your sheets and manage revisions as they get added to the set, 
migrating markups and hyperlinks to newer revisions as they're added. To create a set, go to the Sets panel, select Create Set, and add files. During this process, you'll be prompted to create your tags. When revisions are issued, simply add them to the set and apply your tags. From there, sets will automatically stack revisions where they belong, making it easy for all project partners to know they're always working with the latest revisions. Another feature of sets is the drawing log, which allows you to generate a report showing all drawings and tags within your set. This may include information like revision date and version number. Finally, sets allow you to generate a combined PDF of the latest set of revisions of the drawings that make up your set through the Publish option. Thanks for watching. With Review's Drawings Management Tools, you can quickly and efficiently create drawing sets that are fast and simple to navigate. Let Review do your heavy lifting and put your time back where it's most valuable.